Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to the terrain making room. Today's project, we're going to make a green skin banner. Now, what is that, you may ask? This is what a green skin banner is. For those of you who play a certain video game, this is what I'm talking about. This is the piece of concept art that I have drawn looking at the structure in the video game as a reference. Yeah, I know you know what it is. So, these are the materials we're going to be needing for this banner. First and foremost, we're going to need some nice sticks. Now, I went downstairs and I picked up these sticks from a maple tree that have fallen on the ground. It's important that the sticks are dead so that the wood is dry. I'll show you exactly what I'll be using this for in just a few minutes. I have three words for you. Hot glue gun. That's right. This was picked up at Walmart for very cheap. I think it was something like five bucks. So you can't go wrong. These rods come separately. This is the glue, essentially. And so you plug it in, wait for it to warm up for about 30 seconds, pull the trigger, it comes out in a nice clear gel glue that hardens and dries very quickly. And so this is superior to any type of PVA glue in the sense that it will dry a lot faster. For this project, we're gonna be needing hot glue. And you'll see exactly why also in just a few minutes. Another crucial ingredient is balsa wood. This is another must-have material for any or all wargaming terrain projects. This is the sheet of balsa wood that I have picked up from a hobby supply store. Balsa wood is very interesting. If you've never used balsa wood before, it's very deceiving at first because, first off, take a look at how flexible this is. It's pretty flexible and it's not breaking. Now, obviously, it'll snap if I bring it all the way down, but it almost feels like a piece of foam. It's very soft, it's very pliable, very flexible. So when you cut through this with your utility knife, it's like cutting through butter that is melted with a very hot knife and it is very fun to work with. And we're gonna use this as part of our green skin banner. If you have black spray paint, that's handy as well. I'll use that to coat my structure and I'm gonna be using a bunch of Reaper paints also. I'll decide later exactly the colors I'll be using. And let us not forget the base that I'll be using, plastic card. This is a lifesaver of a material. This is gonna be my base. Without further ado, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So, let's go. Before we begin anything else, let us shape our base. What I like to do is make an abstract shape. If this was just a square, it would be quite boring. There would be nothing special about this. I've just used a utility knife, and I've cut up the edges a bit and carved off any excess pieces that I didn't want. For now, we'll set this aside. Our first step is to make our support beams out of this piece of wood. I'm just going to proceed to break off. Now here are my three pieces of wood. I'm gonna make them approximately the same length. Stuff like this I'll be carving off with my utility knife. Okay, so this is approximately how long I want the rest of my pieces to be. So I will shape them accordingly. Okay, here we go, approximately the same size. Now I'm gonna shave all of this off because I don't want this to flake off on me later on. Uh, just a safety tip, an obvious safety tip, always cut away from yourself, just like how I'm doing right now. I know that's an obvious thing, but I gotta say it. Here we are. And watch this. Just place some of your hot glue right here Stick the bottom of your post onto it, like so. And put it in the other two areas where your posts are gonna go. Now this needs to be done very quick because this hot glue will dry and harden very quickly. So, just like that. So hold it in place like that just for about 20 to 30 seconds. So, another thing we're gonna do to reinforce is to put hot glue right in the middle of these three. That as well will solidify the bond here. Hold it together for about 30 seconds, and you're good to go. Now, you may not be able to tell from where the camera is, but the tips of these three posts don't equally match in height. Therefore, whatever goes on top here will be a little bit lopsided. So to take care of that, what I will do is grab a little piece of balsa wood, just break it off like that, put more of my hot glue onto the top, 
and put on the piece of wood, just like so. And it'll dry relatively flat. So now when the top piece goes on, it'll be nice and level with the ground. So here we go, getting another angle of this. My next step is to grab my balsa wood and to make the platform on top of here. So I'm just gonna set this aside, grab my balsa wood, use my utility knife. See how easy that was. Oh, look at that, look at this balsa wood. Clean up the edges a bit. And I'm gonna glue this on. So I'm gonna put hot glue onto the top here and just set this right on top. Now to build up my sides. This is very easy, you don't need to make exact measurements. I mean, after all, we're making an orky structure. Since when did they use exact measurements? You can get approximate, but it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so that needs to be cut approximately right there. Look at that, just from breaking it, I got my piece. There we go, that's a bit closer. I'm just gonna proceed to glue on the walls. Easiest way to do this is to set the walls right on top of this platform. And so we're gonna put a bead of glue right along the edge here, just like that. Right along the edge. Set it right on the platform, just like so. And there's pretty much an instantaneous bond. That just stands right up on its own. Good luck trying to move it after you put it on, so be very careful with your positioning. Okay, now this side. Okay, flip her around. Right here we can see our basic basic structure. And it is, look at this, picking it up like this. I don't suggest that you do that, but it's sturdy enough that you can pick it up from the platform. That's how strong this hot glue is, and that's how fast it dries. Our next step is to cut out planks that go across for reinforcement. That doesn't actually reinforce these posts. What it does is it gives it more of an orky look. So from the balsa wood, I've cut out a few strips. It's best to glue them on in kind of a diagonal way like that and not so straight because it's boring if it's straight. Put on some of your hot glue and just stick it on like that. Look at that, instantaneous. Isn't that just lovely? Now for our next side, let's go like that. Okay, so hot glue, hot glue, and another plank. And for this side, let's put it like this. Something there, something there. Okay, and let's put one more set right here and right there. Now it's time to make our banner. Our banner is going to be substantially larger than these pieces made from the balsa wood. Okay, right there, just like that. And your structure is essentially done. My next step is to cut out small triangles and to put them all on the perimeter of the platform. Grab your triangle, put glue on the bottom lip, and just place it right on like that. Okay, now do this all the way around. And there you go. I'm gonna bring this outside and spray paint it and come back and paint on our colors. Time to whip out the Reaper paints. I'm gonna be using tanned shadow to go over the wood. And after that, dry brush some fair shadow over top of that. Now you may be thinking to yourselves, for those of you who have seen some of the other tutorials, well, you use those for ground cover. That's exactly right. It also works on wood. Oddly enough, we're painting wood to make it look like wood, but that's a whole other discussion. So let's proceed to paint on the tanned shadow. This is a heavy dry brush layer. So another benefit to shaving off your bark is so you have these ridges that you can see very nicely. I'm gonna paint the posts first, and after that, I'll paint these reinforcing planks. Now it's time to start on these planks. So from side to side, going against the grain, that's how we paint it first. Then we go lengthwise. And that's it, against the grain, then lengthwise. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna paint the back of these. All right, now it's time to start the fair shadow. This will also be a heavy dry brush layer. 
now grabbing Reaper's Blood Red. I'm going to go over the banner in the front just to give it a little bit more color. And I'll paint the back also. Okay, so I've decided to paint this upper box here with the Blood Red also. I'm not painting it per se, I'm giving it a heavy dry brush. In case you can't tell, I'm a fan of the heavy dry brush. Especially for terrain projects such as these. I mean, really, who wants a solid color of paint? Okay, see that? That's a bit more interesting. And for the box here. Now using GW's Bull Gun Metal, I'm gonna dry brush these orky emblems, or teeth, Now grabbing a white paint, I'm going to paint on a word. This is a special word. Many of you know what this word means. You wargamers know why I'm doing this sloppy. Think of who painted it. We're getting pretty close to the finish here, wargamers. Now it's time to add some PVA glue to the bottom. We're gonna add some kitty litter, spray paint it black, add some modeling flock just to finish up the base. Okay, now to throw on the kitty litter. And we're gonna wait for this to completely dry. All right, so I've spray painted the base here with black. Now I'm going to dry brush, do a heavy dry brush with tanned shadow. Okay, now to put on some fair shadow. Put on a heavy dry brush layer of this. Now to add some modeling flock. Just gonna grab our PVA glue. Brush it on in random areas. And here's the scorched grass. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on like this. I'm gonna dump off the excess. And there you have it, Wargamers. A green skin banner. Happy Wargaming!